Now, it was the only flower that grew on the cold battlefields as World War I raged through the heart of Europe. And with its bright colours, the poppy became an important reminder for the fallen. That's why, in honour of the upcoming Remembrance Day and to raise money to support serving and ex-service men and women, an exhibition of 1,560 poppy artworks has now been unveiled at the Civic Centre in Southampton. Just a warning though, Nicole Ruiz's report contains some flash photography. Ever since the dark days of war, poppies have been assembled to commemorate the fallen. And as Remembrance Day is coming closer, the Civic Centre in Southampton is displaying some striking paintings to show respect to those lost on the battlefield. Quite a few people go through the Civic Centre for many different things and it's just a, a valuable space to portray what we are doing for Remembrance because Remembrance is important to the British people but it's also important to a lot of people across the world as well because there was many, many nations lost their young men and young women in World War I and World War II. So we have generations lost and it really is important to remember their sacrifice for our freedoms now. And it's our freedoms now that they've paid the price for. The paintings were made by Sally Magnus in collaboration with the Royal British Legion. Each one of them represents one day in World War I. The artwork is for sale to raise money for serving personnel, veterans and their families. In total there are 1,560. Each one represents the fighting day of World War I, the Great War. And um, I wanted to give something back to the charity. I know how significant Remembrance Day is for the people in the UK and across the world. And it was my way of showing, in my style of painting, how we could all contribute to something as a keepsake um, and help raise, men, raise funds for the Poppy Appeal here in Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. I've now put these designs on textiles, so they're available as cushions or bags, and there's a huge um, demand for that. So we're hoping, together with the Royal British Legion, that we'll continue to make these items and, you know, just raise as much money as we can, and as an ongoing commitment, so for this year and beyond. This week emerged that FIFA were banning British footballers from having poppies on their shirts for a match on the 11th of November. They say they are a political symbol that no player is allowed to display. Hampshire residents passionately disagree with this ban and FIFA have responded to that Solent with a statement. FIFA fully respects the significance of commemorating Remembrance Day. The laws of the game are overseen by the International Football Association Board and applicable to all 211 member associations. The relevant law clearly states that the player's equipment should not carry any political, religious or commercial messages. The laws are applied uniformly in the event of similar requests by any member association to commemorate similar historical events. I'm not a massive football fan, I have to say, but it doesn't make any common sense to me. Um, it's, it's important we wear it out of mark of respect, the poppy, and we wear it to remember. There is no political undertone about it whatsoever. FIFA, I don't think they should have any say in this matter because this is two British national teams playing on British soil, so they should be able to do what they want. It's not political, it's, not, it's a symbol of the young people that we have lost and the others that we have lost through the wars through the years. So FIFA, stick it. Nicole Ries, for that's Solent.